newscast. Now to the latest on the investigation to John Bones Jones. Actor 7 News reporter Aaron Hill spoke to the pregnant woman who was in the car Jones is accused of hitting. He's the reigning UFC light heavyweight champion, and he's trained here in Albuquerque for years. But now, John Bones Jones finds himself in some trouble. Albuquerque police believe he's the person who caused a three car accident Sunday morning, then ran from the scene. The pregnant woman who was hit says she couldn't believe it. I kind of freaked out, and I was just more upset, you know, that he couldn't at least stay in. He said, I'm sorry, or something. And a day later, police say they still haven't talked to Jones. If John Jones wanted to reach out to us, it would not be a difficult thing for him to do. It happened here at Wantabo and Southern after the crash. Witnesses told police a man ran up this small hill before heading back to his silver Buick, grabbing a handful of cash and taking off, jumping over the fence of a nearby gated community. And it was a red light for him, and he ran the red light. The victim says she has a fractured arm along with other minor injuries. She says she hired an attorney before Jones's involvement came to light. And police just want him to come forward. John, give us a call. We just need to talk to you, man. Now, we just heard from Albuquerque police moments ago that they have made arrangements with John Jones to turn himself in. Now, he will face felony charges if and when police do find him. And again, he is turning himself in, so he will face felony charges in this case. Now, at 6, we'll tell you about uh, what the UFC is saying about this incident and how it could impact a fight that is scheduled for next month.